Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to Quick Tutorials. We will be creating a cartoon style vortex background in After Effects. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more After Effects tutorials. Let's begin. Here we have a 1920 by 1080 composition and let's start off by creating a new solid. And let's call this one background and then let's go ahead and click make comp size and click OK. And then let's go up to Effect Generate Gradient Ramp. And then let's go ahead and set our crosshair uh, for our start of the ramp in the middle of our comp. And let's go ahead and set this to Radial Ramp. And let's go here and let's go ahead and set our gradients. So with our background created, let's go ahead and create a new composition. And let's make it two times the size of our main comp. So I'll make it like 4,000 width. And we'll call this one Shape layer comp and we'll click OK so click on layer new shape layer and then let's go at the top and click on the rectangle tool and let's draw out a rectangle just like this and let's go ahead and go to add and click on repeater and let's go ahead and open the repeater properties and let's go to the transform repeater properties and increase the position so we can create some separation between our rectangles and then let's go ahead and increase the number of copies to go all the way across our uh, comp here and create just enough of copies that will fill the entire frame here and then if we need to move anything over let's go to our transform rectangle tools here and let's kind of center this up okay so with that done let's go up to effect distort polar coordinates and then let's go ahead and set the type of conversion to react to polar and let's set this all the way to 100 percent and that should be good so let's go back to our main composition and let's go ahead and drag this uh, shape layer comp into our main comp here so now we have this going on for us and let's go ahead and maybe go to our background layer here and copy the gradient ramp and paste our uh, gradient just like this okay and then let's go ahead and drag in our texture that you can download in the description of this project file and let's go ahead and set the transfer mode to screen and maybe we'll scale this down as well and let's go ahead and set the opacity to like 50%. And then maybe for the shape layer here, we'll go ahead and set the track mat to alpha inverted mat. And we'll turn it back on. And when you paste the effect over, make sure that the crosshair is in the center here. And that should be fine. Let's go ahead and maybe make the background just a little bit darker as well. So let's go ahead and start animating this. So what we can do is go into our shape layer comp and let's open up the shape layer contents. And let's go to the uh, repeater and let's click the stopwatch for copies and let's set this down to zero. And then let's move forward in time by a few frames, maybe a second or so. And let's go ahead and set this copies back to 22. So we fill the entire circle here. And then let's go back into our main comp. And as you can see, we have a little animation coming on here. And then let's go ahead and select the shape layer comp, hit R on the keyboard to bring up rotation, click the stopwatch for rotation and set that keyframe to the beginning of our animation. And let's go to the end of our composition and go ahead and increase the rotation to whatever works for us. So now we'll have this rotation go on the entire time. And then to you know add some text to this or whatever we're trying to do, let's go ahead and create a new solid layer. And let's uh, set that to be a square. So using like a height of 1080 by 1080. So width and height of 1080 by 1080. And click OK. And let's go to our ellipse tool. Double click the ellipse tool and let's go ahead and hit S on our keyboard to bring up the scale and let's scale this down. And then let's go ahead and maybe copy the gradient ramp from our shape layer and paste that on there. And let's go ahead and add our text like this. And then let's go ahead and maybe duplicate this white solid and let's go ahead and maybe scale it up a little bit and lower the opacity. And let's go ahead and make the darker gradient a little bit darker as well. And let's go ahead and put this underneath our main white solid and make sure to lower the opacity. And then now we can go ahead and maybe animate this. So what we can do is go to the beginning, maybe here, hit S on our keyboard for scale for the uh, thicker circle and click the stopwatch, set that down to, well, move the keyframe over and then set that down to zero. Make the last keyframe an easy as keyframe. So then let's go ahead and select the inner circle and our text and hit S on our keyboard for scale. Click the stopwatches, uh, move them forward in time and hit zero on our keyboard for the scale property. So now 
we have our animation and let's not forget to turn on motion blur and remember to always save your project and guys thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions please drop a comment down below and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to drop a like guys thank you so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you soon